So we are standing at the entrance to the Oregon Coast Aquarium in Newport, and I am here with Anita, who is the head groundskeeper. And Anita, you know, I think a lot of people that, that know love plants know that this place is kind of known for its amazing amount of natives that has been planted throughout the whole area. But today, you're gonna talk to us about some of the natives that are actually edible, many which surprise me. So there's a couple right out here at the entrance. So why don't That's you tell right. us what they are? Well, the aquarium's got a native plant palette, and we have been trying to find some of the more unusual things yeah. that have been used over many centuries by native people. We have something here called Prunella vulgaris, which is self-heal, which is edible and used as really? a um, salve if you cut yourself or uh -huh. hurt yourself. And uh, behind us, there's a planter with an Indian plum, yeah. Omleria sarasifolia, wow. which has plums. And the leaves are edible. If you taste them when they're very young, they taste a bit like they green did. apple. And you had me do that, and they actually did taste like green apple. Now, you know, before we go look at some more of these, though, it, you, you told me something, and I honestly can't remember what you said, but it was about, about you know, many years ago, what, what they said when they first started, people started coming to this area? Well, um, when Lewis and Clark came on their journey to the West Coast, they arrived in the Pacific Northwest and they found a land of abundance. And here there were people that had not only things from the water, but berries yeah. and they cultivated things that we surprisingly <laughs> find out now are edible, things like bulbs and roots. Fireweed is edible when it's young, especially it tastes like asparagus. The French who first came here called it asperge, wow. which is their word for asparagus. And um, so fireweed, that's epilobium angustifolium. And um, in there were fields where they had camas bulbs that they were owned by um, like the tribal chief. Yeah. And they would go in at certain times of year and collect all the bulbs for um, cooking as part of a tribal gathering. It's a, it's a, it's a brunch. <laughs> so you have a lot more of these inside though, so why don't we take a little trip inside every year, even go over some more that you have growing right here at the, uh, at the aquarium. So now we have come inside of the aquarium, Anita, and we are at one of your favorite places of the park, the pond area. Yes. And now there's even edible stuff growing in here, is there not? Yes. Um, one of the things that's in the back is the um, beginning of cattails, and cattails are known as um, nature's like grocery store because there's so much really? useful stuff. The roots are edible, the stalks are edible, and the cattails, um, when they have formed those nice sort of hot dog shaped cattails, uh -huh. were plucked and used as bedding by wow. native people. And um, there's other things in the pond too that are surprising. Um, there's something called arrowhead. Now, we, have, we sell that at garden centers. It is profuse in here, and you can see why it's called arrowhead. Uh -huh. It's also called wapato by um, native people because it was a very important food source. It was cultivated in ponds like this, shallow ponds, and they would pull it up so that the roots would float to the surface and they would harvest them and cook them, and it was something that Lewis and Clark actually ate when they came here. Wow. Well, you know, I think that when people think of the, the uh, this place, they think, oh, I'm gonna go see the animals. But for us gardeners, you can do both. You can certainly see the amazing animals that are here, but you can also now go through and see the amazing natives and the edibles that are here and really get a lot more knowledge than you thought you were gonna have. So for more information on tickets and, and pricing and the hours, you can go to gardentime.tv. We'll click it over to their website. You can find out all that information. Thank you so much. This Thank was you. really informative, Anita. Thanks. It was nice having you.